This is a tale, a tale of faith, courage, and persistence. This is the story of Bethany, the teenage wannabe pro surfer. Bethany has been living in Hawaii for her whole life and loves the sport of surfing. Her life has been mostly normal, besides the adjustments she had to make necessary to becoming a pro surfer, such as being homeschooled. She's a great surfer until one day she gets attacked by a shark. Bethany was extremely lucky and didn't get hurt as severely as she could have. Nevertheless, she loses an arm and her family and friends are devastated. In the hospital, Bethany recovers, but her dreams are pretty much crushed. Bethany starts to think she'll never be able to surf again. She could probably manage simple tasks with some difficulty, but how is she going to surf with only one arm? For some while, almost everyone loses hope in Bethany's surfing career, including herself. However, others still believe in her. When she starts to feel better about her injury, Bethany starts to think about doing the unfathomable, surfing with one arm. Also blessed and burdened with fame, she tries to spread the belief of Jesus while still achieving her dream. Will she be able to do it? Read Soul Surfer, written by Bethany Hamilton herself, to find out. This is a tale, a tale of faith, courage, and persistence. This is the story of Bethany, a teenage wannabe pro surfer. Bethany has been living in Hawaii her whole- Oh, oh, great. This is a tale, a tale of faith, courage, and persistence. This is the story of Bethany, a teenage wannabe pro surfer. Bethany has been living in Hawaii her whole- She's a great surfer until one day, she gets attacked by She's a great surfer until one day. Oh, that sucked. This is a tale. A tale of faith, courage, and persistence. This is the story of Bethany. Probably shouldn't have done that. She's a great surfer until one day. She gets attacked by a shark.